Yes, hello and welcome YouTubers and Doctor Who fanatics to quite of an unexpected video. It's a showcase video. Yes, a rather special, surprising, unpredictable 2,000 subscriber special video. This is titled as Showcase 49B because this deserves his own video. And I quite a very interesting Doctor Who book to say the least. But when I did a little bit more research on it, I have found out this is among the rarest Doctor Who books of all time. I'm talking about top 10 stuff here. It's in the top 5 actually. And I found this out just today on the Tuesday where I looked at like some of the information inside the book. And I was completely speechless. I didn't know what to say. Got some sour from the information, but didn't turn out to be correct, really. I did my own research in the book. And yeah, I've gathered something pretty insane about it. Yes, I have one of the Doctor Who books within the top five here. So yeah, its rarity is through the fucking roof. I'm oh, sorry about my language, but <laughs> the only way I can pull it. So yeah, I've got some very rare Doctor Who books throughout the years. But this one's just uh, pulling it to another level, really. So yeah, I've collected many Doctor Who books. Throughout 2016 and 2017, rare Doctor Who books and whatnot, everyone knows that. But I do love the Target books. Who doesn't love the Target books? And everyone wants to complete this range who are a book collector. You know, we've got gorgeous stuffers, uh, the cave monsters hardback. Then we go to the abnormal stuff, like the US limited edition hardbacks of Day of the Daleks and the giant robot. So then the absolutely abnormal uh, modified hardback of Doctor Who and the Daleks. So yeah, I've got some you know pretty crazy hardbacks. This book right here, it's gonna make them look like nothing, just them on their knees compared to this book. Uh, yeah, you thought the cave monsters and the Alan Wingate hardback of the Autumn Invasion were among the highest of target hardbacks? Uh, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> That's just the other way to pull it. You're incorrect. Not the rarest hardbacks. I only found this out just today. It's not the rarest Doctor Who book of all time, though. It is, in fact, number three on my list. It's the third rarest Doctor Who book of all time. Of all time! So what can it possibly be? It's rarer than the Auton Invasion. What's rarer than those US exclusive edition hardbacks of Dead the Daleks and the Giant Robot limited to 300 copies, which came out in 1978? What's rarer than them? this. So yeah, what's so special about this? It's just a plain book. Well, when I just show you the spine, it's gonna do a lot of questions. Doctor Who the War Machines, WH Allen Hardback. I think some of the questions are coming in now. So yes, if you know the Doctor Who Target Hardbacks with the novelizations, the last one was the Smugglers, WH Allen Hardback, and then the Hardbacks were no more. They concluded, they were finished. So yeah, Paradise Towers, all the way to Paradise of Death, they did not have a hardback treatment, and the War Machines is among one of them. So how on earth does this book exist in hardback form? How is it here? Well, the original story by the seller, of what information I got from him, he said this book here was in fact a prototype hardback of the War Machines, a print run never issued. So, it looked like, from what I've gathered from the seller, that the War Machines 
was going to be a hardback, but eventually never just never made it when the Smuggers was confirmed as the last hardback. So it was a discontinued hardback, essentially. That's what the seller said, that this was a prototype dummy hardback. So I said, wow, that's crazy, that is. It's, not, it's a, a prototype hardback, wonderful. I did my own research by looking inside the book. The seller was actually incorrect, that is wrong. The War Machines never planned as a hardback. It was stopped, it was ceased after the Smugglers. None of the others were never planned. The Seventh Doctor ones, the First Doctor ones, the Second Doctor ones, and Power, Evil and Paradise of Death Virgin books. They were never planned as hardbacks. So how is this here? If it's not a prototype, what the hell is it? This is where we come into the big stuff here right now. Because when I opened the book and um, witnessed this, I was in shock. Well, I probably I just found a book within the top five, and again I didn't know this when I first knew about it. I didn't I didn't know that. I just thought it was a a prototype hardback, and that's it. So I know for a fact no one else knows its rarity, which I'm going to explain because it's just such an abnormal book. You know, it's ridiculous. You know, everyone says, oh, no, Alan Wingate, Hardback of the Autumn Invasion is the rarest, but no, it's actually this. Well, uh, these as well, but if we're talking WH Allen and Alan Wingate, and not US exclusives, this is in fact number one. This is the rarest target Hardback you can ever own, and it is by far, I mean by far, the hardest. It is. The Auton Invasion times by a thousand. It's a thousand times harder. And let's get into why. But yeah, let's just showcase this lovely book. You know, the back, you know, sorry, the front and the back is completely blank. It doesn't look like a normal WH Allen hardback where it has like artwork and like colours and whatnot. Doesn't have any of that. But it does have a presented spine with Doctor Who, the War Machines, in Stuart Black and then a WH Allen logo. Nice gold shine, of course. And let's open the book, you know, to actually confirm this is the WH Allen hardback of the War Machines. This is not custom made, this isn't. And this is not a fake. There you go. All the proof that you need. And I'll get to that in a minute because there is some flipping crazy stuff by there. Chapter points. Cover illustrations. See the chapters are there. Everything's there in this hardback. So there you go. There's proof that this is the real deal. This is the WH Iron hardback of the War Machines. Now let's go through its actual rarity because the seller wasn't fully correct. He wasn't. He wasn't correct. You know, research it takes you a long way. Again, I didn't know about this when I first got it. First edition hardback, 2004. This hardback was made in 2004. And for the real shocker here, ten were made. Ten. Ten were made. That. Is fucking crazy. Only ten copies exist of this hardback. There's a thousand of the Autumn Invasion, probably a bit lower now because some of them in libraries were probably sadly chugged away, so probably about 800 now or 900, not too sure. Again, you can't work it out. There's only ten of these around in the world. This marks it, one of the rarest Doctor Who books you can ever get in your collection. And by my research and ranking, this is in fact confirmed the third rarest Doctor Who book you can ever own in your collection. Plus, 
the rarest target hardback by absolute miles. Yet a company actually self-printed this book and that's the company right by there, www.tandempress.com who do these limited edition books they do, like limited to 500, uh, 150, or even flipping 10. So I checked, I scanned the website, and uh, the page for this doesn't exist anymore. There's no other Doctor Who stuff around there. It would have been a wonderful place for research. I, I'll, I'll have a, a double check just in case, because I could find some really flipping rare Doctor Who stuff, but yeah. This book was actually published, well, 10 prints were done by a company called Tandem Press. So there we go. The king of the Target books, the WH Allen hardback of the War Machines. Showcase 49B was actually acting as a teaser for what's to come in Showcase 50, actually. This just shows you the scope of what Showcase 50 is gonna be. Yeah, Showcase 50 is a while, so I wanted to do a really unexpected Showcase video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let's put this on display, not on the shelf, it's too almighty, it's the rarest Doctor Who target hardback. Let's put this on damn display. Yeah, that was it. Showcase 49B. Rather a nice unexpected treat. And to showcase you the rarest book in my collection. Well, is it really? Of course, Showcase 50. We're going to have some big stuff in that one. Since that's only limited to 10, it should be possible for me to hunt down either Tiger Anniversary Edition, Vision of Christmas, the Collector's Edition of Cybermen, Early is. Showcase 50 is going to be quite a while though. So we just wanted to do a little unexpected treat. So yeah, the next videos are recent big finish reviews they are. And as well some more 2000 subscriber special videos to come. So thanks for watching. And of course, have a good one.